If you're wondering why I'm just spinning Snake round and round and round like a record player in the menu, it's because if you spin him around in the survival viewer and then go back to the game, he throws up and you lose a bunch of stamina. So that that's fun. That's actually a that's actually a trick. Is um, you can just crawl around in it afterwards too. Yeah. That's actually a trick. Is um, if you eat poisoned food, or you get you can actually make him spin round to throw it up and cure yourself of the um, of the effect, which is nice. There's a lot of neat touches with the whole food system, you know. There's very little challenge to actually, even on the higher difficulties, it's not hard to be to find an antidote or anything like that. But it's fun to play around with and find all the little effects you can have, you know. Uh, yeah. So this is a this is a base of some description. Um, some people in it, probably. Pfft. I like how um, you know, you go through the jungle and then you find these little places like this. And sneaking through a base does feel significantly different than having to um, just just going through a jungle. So it's quite it's quite a nice change of pace. It does feel significantly different. I think most of these guys we can quite snafely, so snafely, we can quite snafely seek past. I'm not sure what I was trying to say there. Oh god, okay, we can quite safely sneak past them. Oh, bugger off. Oh, this has gone horribly wrong immediately, hasn't it? Oh no. At least you got some action. Off. Oh, there's a helicopter here. Uh, where should I'm going? That's uh, that's the electric fence. Let's not go that way. And uh, wouldn't you know it, we've used our uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, get our jail free card. Oh, you may note. Oh, for God's sake! I was about to say you may notice I just plow into them with the roll the lock because it's a very quick way to just get through them. Uh, I'm honestly not sure where to go right now. Um, God, they're kind of everywhere, aren't they? I should use a chaff grenade or something, a uh, smoke grenade. The only thing about chaff grenades is they're no good if you've already set an alert off. Um, um, Oh, they were shooting a big mounted gun at me, Jesus. That doesn't happen often. Okay, I think... I think we got away with that. Oh god. Unless they actually walk into me, we should be alright. They're quite thorough. This is HQ. The enemy is still nearby. Let's just do some uh, investigating. Oh, that's just a cut, I'll just suture that. There we go. Should heal itself while we're lying down. There we go. Yeah, little wounds like that. If you have a lot of stamina, you can easily just recover them without having to use all your resources. Um, there is actually, I think I mentioned before, there's a character later in the game who, at one point, there's a slightly different bit of dialogue he uses depending on how many injuries you've taken through the game, which is a nice touch. I, I literally didn't know about that until about a month ago, and I was just looking, looking things up, and I was like, oh. So I've probably heard all those lines of dialogue and just never noticed the difference. Right. The funny thing is, I would usually be very meticulous and go around and crawl... I'd crawl around and kill everyone one by one. But for the purposes of this video, I was trying to save time, and that ended up causing me more time because I just... Uh, got caught, didn't I? So. Oop, oop. Be 
should be alright. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Oop. Poo. That made me jump for a second. Nope, we're okay, we're okay. Where's he going? I didn't expect him to go that way. Oh, he goes round like that, okay. There's a whole bunch of crap in that base I would like to get, but the actual logistics of getting in there without anyone seeing me are quite tricky. Nope. Nope. Side of the fence is he on? Is he on this side? Yeah. Which side of the iron curtain are you on? Uh, I might crawl around him actually. Probably easier. Being cheeky now and seeing if I can sneak up on him. You know, I regretted it last time I tried this. Speak. The northeastern gun emplacement. You speak. Shooting drums will. Speak. Gun drums explode. Stupendous, that's that's literally all there is to find out, was there? Well there's a guy over there almost didn't see. I might just have the chaff grenade on standby just in case anyone gets any ideas. Ooh. Oh god, there's a guy over there too. As you can tell, I'm being a bit uh, cocky. I wouldn't usually bother with this, but after that alert, it's a bit personal now. I think there's another guy over there somewhere, I just can't see him very well. Maybe he comes like round there or something. I feel like there's another guy who comes around that corner. Ruddy fence keeps getting in the way. Oh wait, hang on. I hear him. I hear someone walking. Walking. I'm walking. Was that him? There he is. Where's he going? He goes left, doesn't he? Okay. Okay, all going to my master plan. Master plan in action. Answer me. I don't have any. 
anything. That sounds suspicious. Who answer me? Under the bed. <laughs> Who answer me? Oh yeah, I think this guy has some porn bastard. mags under the bed, ah. and he calls me a bastard for stealing them. Which is fair enough, really. So I killed him. I killed him and took his pawn. I think there's a nobility to that. Actually, I think there's something on the roof here. Yes, something over here. I was just trying to think of like the most important items to pick up. I'm not bothering to do the whole shebang in this area, I really can't be asked, but... Uh... Just because I'm here. Seems the thing to do. I think this guy literally doesn't know anything. <laughs> the other guy was that was just a denial he was going through, but uh, I think this one literally doesn't know anything useful, so. In the hole you go. Oh, that's a. That's a uh, flaming grenade, I believe. That grenade is flaming! Anybody nearby? No. Oh, oh, what? Oh god. Oh god, hang on. Oof. That should uh, help somewhat. Jesus. It's no use. Huh. Oh. Oh. Crap. Oh, really? I deny all responsibility for this. Ugh. Oh, he's actually unconscious. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Might as well run through this place. Oh, God, knock the door over, which knocked his body over. Ah. Hide under the bed, get the porn mags. Oof. God, did they accidentally shoot the door trying to get to me? That's funny. Heh. <laughs> Oof. I'm not doing very well in this area. I should just get out of here next, next chance I go. <laughs> so did I actually pick up the porn mags? I'm not imagining there are porn mags. I'm not imagining this is an actual thing. Oh, there's Keratan again. I keep encountering Keratan without meaning to. This is HQ. Yes, it's very... Very hard to see round corners without being seen in urban environments in particular. Yeah, there's a lengthy urban bit later in the game which is probably one of the hardest parts because it's very well guarded and there isn't as much cover or as much food. I'm just, just just gonna get out of here now. Um, I'll tell you a fun fact though, I'm not gonna bother doing it due to the time required, but um, 
If you destroy that helicopter over there, that actually prevents it from uh, hunting you down during a later section. Not a lot of people realise that. I think this is a good format we've got where I try to screw around an area for a bit and then if I've set off a couple of alerts I just get out of there because you can do stuff like you can blow up that food store which will make them hungry later and that has a hungry guard is more likely to eat food that you throw to distract him with and also um, you can destroy their ammunition store which means they're less likely to they're more hesitant to use bullets shooting at you Hungry guards also have the advantage of walking around constantly complaining they're hungry, which means they give away the position. So that's quite nifty, you know. You know, there's so many little details like that, it's easy to miss. Like, you can easily play the game and not notice half of this little stuff, that can be very helpful. Ugh, okay. I would usually spend longer methodically cleaning that place out of enemies and weapons, but, uh... A cutscene. It's been like an hour since we had a cutscene, so, uh... <gasps> it's our favorite character. You're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. Wow. wow. So you're going to cheat by getting your guys to shoot us? Is that what you're saying? I hate to disappoint the cobras, but you're mine now. It's important to note that Ocelot is not actually a cobra. He's part of uh, KG. No, Gru. That's it. I think. It's just you and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud. This is the first proper gun, um, gun fight, boss fight in the game. There was a sort of boss encounter earlier, but this is the first traditional boss fight. Look at this, look at this ridiculous thing. I love how characters in this game often have mannerisms and things. Like Ocelot, I think this is my favourite version of Ocelot, is the young one that you get in Snake Eater. And he's just got so many weird mannerisms and habits. I got two guns, Hillbilly. What like what is the point of this? There's no there's no need for this. He's just showing off. Snake doesn't seem too impressed. This time I've got twelve shots. And bad lip syncing. This is like the most dramatic ambush spot too. Oh, by the way, the music here is incredible. There's a snake. Oof, right. The whole thing here is to keep in cover. Oh, hang on, actually. I forgot to do the thing I usually do where I set myself up with all the, um... Because I want to take him out non lethally in order to get his, uh gives you a useful camouflage, I think, so I'm, I'm meant to equip all the necessary shit. The whole gimmick here is to um, try and... Fight, There's a minor stealth element to this fight where if you stay out of sight for long enough he'll lose track of you, and then you can often get shot off. Oh, jeez. I, I didn't expect him to see me there. Oh, I think there's also two hornet nests you can use to your advantage. Oh, he periodically has to reload and that's the best time to try and um, get a hit on it, in on him. He can also ricochet bullets if you're not careful, as demonstrated during that cutscene earlier. Oh, I'm doing so badly. Oh, where is he? Oh god, shit, occasionally his, his guys come out and help him, which is just cheating, really. Uh, I think he's behind that big tree, so... Yes, you can use stun... Oh, Jesus, I'm blind myself. You can use the stun grenades uh, 
to take down their stamina. Stun grenades are very useful to the one who's doing non-lethal runs. Where the fuck is he? He can see me up here, so that's not actually a good spot to hide. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, he's over there still. I'll show you a secret, by the way, if he lets me do it. If you stand... Oh. I'm not sure it's doing it. Hang on. It's supposed to be a thing. Oh, it's not doing it. If you stand at the edge of the ravine, he's supposed to... Oh god, really? Come on! Do not... I'm not imagining this. That's where I'm my life. Okay, look. He's supposed to challenge you to a duel if you stand near the uh, if you stand near the cliff. Oh wait, possibly, possibly no. I swear on my life, I'm not imagining this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not a lot of people realise yes. this because it's quite hard to activate as well. You literally, you initiate a quick draw duel. Oh, which I failed. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm not doing particularly well in this fight. Oh god! Okay, definitely not. Oh fuck's sake, why? <sighs> Fortunately I can basically cheat by using this life medicine. These are these I've only got one of them though, so it's not like a complete fix. What's this cure I need to do? Oh, I've got a bullet wound straight in my face. Let's let's have a look at that. Oh, it's like right in my nose. Where is it? Oh, it's like right in my ear, actually. Yeah. Oh God. It's got sticking out of my ear. Hang on. Oh, what have I done? Hang on. Hang on. Uh, bandage, bleeding, disinfected. There we go. And now I will forever have a bullet stuck in my face. I just, I like that idea, it just amuses me. Oh, I think he, oh god, he's trying to ricochet. He's trying to ricochet. He's only got two shots left. Can't hide forever. Oh, balls. Range, huh? Oh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Do reloading could be so he can shoot his hat off. Another nice touch. Ooh. No, you can't actually climb up that arena. I just realised I don't think I've ever tried that before. But, uh... The aiming is uniquely clunky because in order to do first person, you have to stand completely still. Oh God. Crying out loud. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. I like how they laugh. When he starts laughing, they all laugh at you, just like in the cutscenes. Oh. Oh. Looks like the smoke grenade, if that's useful in this case. One thing is you kind of you kind of want to goad him into using his bullets because then you can uh... Oh bloody hell. Thank you for teaching me the joy of the Oh god. I'm very close to death in case you haven't noticed. Oh But he's not far off either. 
Oh dear, oh, oh god, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. I think that's our first legit death, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we can't leave it there, can we? We've got to finish the ruddy boss and call it a day. Oh no. One quirk of boss fights is, um... A pro tip is to equip all the weapons you want to use before you go into the boss arena because then you don't have to manually re-equip them every time. Just an annoying quirk. Anyway, here we go. Oop. I did realise I missed the trick last time. I'll show you the trick I missed in a, in a minute when it's convenient. Oh, I ain't got him that time. No, don't shoot him. God. It really bothers me when those guys get involved. Because it's hard to dodge their shots because there's no cover. Something else I meant to do. Oh yeah, see, he's being attacked by the hornets. I forgot to you. I forgot to do all these things. Ah. Look at him reloading. Uh, oh no, he's just swapping guns. Actually. Oh, jeez. Oh god, he's done the same thing to me now. Ah, oh, I don't think I even realised he could do that. Actually, that rarely happens. I think it's sometimes worth climbing that tree, actually, because you uh, you do get a good vantage point from up there. There's actually a goat in the background, and I don't know if you noticed earlier, I accidentally knocked him out with a stun grenade. <laughs> you see there, there's a goat. It's quite funny. So yeah, you're quite exposed up here, but you also get a good vantage point, potentially. Oh, I forgot to use my stun grenades. Shots left. Aha, he's off. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where's he gone? Uh, stun grenade. This is why I wanted to save my stun grenades. They accuse me of fighting dirty, they're the ones who keep interrupting the fair fight in order to help their boss. Oh, if you look, he actually, when he gets attacked by the hornets, he uses his guns, he, he like swivels his guns around in his hands to kill the hornets, which is a neat touch. Do you ever notice how often in this playthrough I use the phrase like, that's a neat touch, or not many people know this? You know? It's because there's a million awesome and incredibly obscure touches in this game. God, this is like the only bit of cover you have to hide from those guys, they're very annoying. I'm not sure what you can do to get rid of them. I think if you throw a grenade at them they run away for a bit. I'm sure there's something you can do, otherwise it'd be incredibly annoying. God. Where is he? I think he's lost me too. Oh, nice dust, dust balls there. Eh? Yeah. Hang on. Where's he going? Behind the tree. Big tree. Oh, I got him! Yes! <gasps> I'm 
so excited. There you go, that was a good old fight. Yeah, it's more challenging to do it non lethally, but it is more satisfying and you get the bonus. Um, that's why I use guns, like, it's hard enough to beat them with non lethal, let alone. You know, it's enough of a challenge to beat them using non-lethal options, because just you can't use regular grenades, you know, you stun grenades and that sort of thing. It kind of reminds me of the Mr. Freeze fight in Arkham City. Also, something very strange is happening on screen and I'm not referencing it. This is pretty horrible actually, like someone's just stung to bees until they, by hornets until they die. I love that he just kills them by... look at he's killing them by the hundreds. You were lucky. I'm so Wait. sad that we're not going to hear that music again, but I'm going to have to put the end of this episode, aren't I? Let's be honest. Oh shit, snake, run! I love that they occasionally get stuck on the screen, if you look carefully. Yeah. Now, we are in a cave. This section is very dark and we can't see where we're going, but... Uniform animals, that's that's the optional thing you we get for beating Ocelot without lethal. So that's exciting. This has been almost three hours of me playing this game today, so let's give it a break. Um, I will, however, save my progress, and when I save my progress... Um, paramedic who is the master of saving. Let's see, let's see, let's see, hang on. Because I mentioned before, every time you save the game, Paramedic tells you about a movie she likes. And, uh, it's quite entertaining. You can see the date that I'm playing this, oh, shocking. You can also see it, it took me 32 hours to beat this on extreme mode, so I... We're, we're pretty much flying through by my usual hey, standards. Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla King of ah, the first Godzilla movie. What is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it. And she just has pictures it's from the movie ready to go. Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on My monster grows to an enormous size and you don't need a nuclear test. The Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Ah, he made the obvious Snake, joke. <laughs> not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Just like Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, whoa, Meta. You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. Ah, uh, Meta. That's the year the game came out. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets Oh, when you waggle this stick you can make move snake move around too. That's exciting. From a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit snake. Have a little fun. <laughs> So that's Snake Eater. A very strange game. Uh, I think you get that. I think you get that message by now. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I, I hope I'm having a good balance of like actiony bit and sneaky bits and rambling about shit bits. Like, because I don't. My biggest concern is like, it's very easy to spend ages crawling around one level. And I try not to do that because it would just take forever to get anywhere. 
Uh, that's partly why I said the difficulty to hard rather than extreme is that it wouldn't matter as much if I miss a bunch of items. I'm basically just trying to get the essential stuff and then get out. I'm not being as meticulous as I usually would be. But I'm hoping you're enjoying, and I'll see you next time, probably, maybe. Otherwise I won't, but hopefully I will. Oh, dear God. 